Hey, friend. I hope you're doing good today. I, the other day, I did a devotional, and it seemed like a lot of people were very um, in need of some um, some good in the day <laughs> with all the weird stuff. Um, and so this morning, I was reading my devotion this morning, and it was just so, so good. And it made me think about um, so many times that we, you know... We, <laughs> I was very, very particular about what names I named my children. Like, all of them have very, very uplifting, um, positive names. Like, I wanted to make sure that everybody's name was a good name that they could feel proud of, you know, as they grew up and that they would have, like, that would be their first positive in their life. Like, as soon as they were born, they already had one, no matter what the world had for them later, their starting off was going to be good. <laughs> so, like, that was my, my feeling, you know. I just wanted them to have a good, strong name. Well, um, and all of them all live up to their names. Every one of them. Well, Skyly, you know, my, my name for her was Sky because I'm thinking, you know, beautiful blue skies. It means eternal. It was, it was a name to me that just meant you know, that God is eternal. He created the sky, created her, like all of these things, like they just all flooded to me at one time. And I'm like, oh, beautiful name. Beautiful. It's different. You know, very few times do you hear that name. It's perfect. And that's what she is. She's a sky. Well, the beautiful skies are beautiful on beautiful days. But then there's also those days that there are tornadoes and there's lightning and thunder. <laughs> and it's very, very frightening. <laughs> and Skyly totally lives up to that as well. So she lives up to her beautiful days of loveliness. But then she also lives up to the fact that there still comes a rainy day. <laughs> with thunder and lightning. But I say that to say that even on those bad days, you know, we're all going to have those days that are like, really awesome and really bad, but it's all in our perception on how we live up to that day or what that circumstance that's happening. If we allow ourselves to just completely think, oh, it's just such a bad day. You know? I mean, like we can even get to that point of saying, oh, my name is so horrible. My name is stupid. My name is ugly. My name is fat. My name is like, we, we put those things into our mind. Like we decide that we're not good enough, that we are not living up to our potential because of outside circumstances, because of someone else or something else. We are, because of how we grew up, then we're, we have a name that we have put on ourselves, Our name of ugly or fat or stupid or not smart or whatever and but that's not what name God gave us that is not what the Lord intended for our life to be about was not to have that mark on us he gave us a beautiful name and so that's what our devotion is about today is is what is in the name you shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord will name. Isaiah 62, 2. Jabez's mother must have done a lot of things well, but when it came to picking a name for her baby boy, surely she erred. We read, His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. 1 Chronicles 4, 9. In Hebrews, Jabez means pain. Not only did his name sound gloomy, Everyone knew it spelled doom. For Jewish children, a name was taken as a prophecy of the person's temperament and destiny. From childhood on, Jabez would be a prisoner of pain. Regret regrettable, wouldn't you agree? Yet, what is most memorable about this man's life is not where he started or what he had to overcome, but where he ended up. Even though he started in pain, he didn't let his experience or his prospects keep him from reaching with God's favor for another kind of life. Perhaps God had used that pain 
as he often does, to nudge Jabez into reaching to God for more. Blaise Pascal, a French Christian who experienced much physical and emotional trauma, finally concluded that it had been God's gift to him to have all of the pain. He wrote, Pain was the loving and legitimate violence necessary to produce my liberty. Think about that. Think about God doesn't do things to hurt us, but he allows things to happen. It's our perception of that circumstance that allows us to move forward. God means everything for good. What Satan means for bad, God means for good. He's not going to allow something that is bad for us. He's got a purpose through the problem. Take a few moments to ask yourself what name you have put on your life. Have you stamped your heritage or your record thus far with some severely limiting label like disappointment, not very smart, unwanted, or failure? If so, Jabez's story has particular meaning for you. Now ask yourself. What desirable options have I never seriously considered simply because they didn't match with my negative name? Think about that. What desirable options, desirable, what's something you really want, have I never seriously considered simply because you were trying to live up to the negative name? that you have put on yourself, not that God put on you, not that anyone else put on you. You choose that. You choose which way your life goes. You choose. God gave us a will. He gave us the right to choose. You can choose the negative or you can choose the positive. You can choose the fear or you can choose the faith. Which direction are you going to allow yourself to think? Are you going to look at your negative name that you've put on yourself and keep on living out that same name of disappointment, unwanted, unsmart? Or are you going to live up to the name God gave you? God had more in store for Jabez and he has more in store for you than pain or anything else. And he does so much Every day for us, we have to look for it. He won't ask you to ignore or deny a difficult past or a limiting circumstance, but he'll never define you by it. Your father's name for you isn't pain or any such word. It is chosen. John 15, 9. Mine. Psalm 50, 10 through 12. Beloved. Deuteronomy 33, 12. Sought after, Isaiah 62, 12. Friend, James 2, 23. You remember a fisherman named Simon. He left his nets to follow Jesus. If any disciple could be counted on to get it wrong the first time, it was Simon. But one day Jesus looked at him and said, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. I tell you that you are Peter. Matthew 16, 17, and 18. That new name means rock. And along with his new name, Jesus gave Peter a large and important destiny in God's kingdom. Your Lord wants to say something to you today that will change your life. A word is on the tip of his tongue. It is your new name. Are you going to accept his new name? Because he's already said that you're chosen. That you are loved you're his. You just have to accept it. You have to choose every day to accept that God has chosen you. I'll leave you with one last thought. More of a prayer. Lord, what labels or attitudes have I attached to me or my life that might be limiting what you want to give me who you want to make me to be or what you want to do through me. Please show me.
What attitudes and what labels have you put on yourself that God's not put there? God does not tell you you're worthless or stupid. Because God made you and God makes no junk. God makes everything beautiful. The day he created everything, he said, it is good, it is good, it is good. Everything was good. Yes, we have sin. But there again, we choose sin. We choose what we're going to do every single day. So today, choose life. Choose to have a name that you know that God wants you to have, not something, some label that you've put on yourself. Isaiah 43, 19 says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? A new thing. God has a new thing for you today. So no matter what's going on in the world, no matter what you have in your mind or what you've thought about, keep that in your mind all the time. When those negative thoughts or the negative words, the negative names come into your mind, put your new name in your mind. I am chosen. I am enough. I am great. I am amazing. I am beautiful. Put your new name where the negative used to be. I love y'all so much, and I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. I hope and I pray that you will be able to see and feel these words that God has given us today to think about where he's leading you and what he wants you to do and what name he has given you. So I hope you have a wonderful day, and I love y'all very much.